Ah, beg you. Ah, oh, it's probably to a reasonably short video. Um, just a few little things. Ah, oh, this is the. I'll start doing those um, 245s as well. I've got to make another one up uh, for the next uh, sort of Blockwood giveaway top thing overseas. But uh, not getting this one though. This one's a pretty special one. Uh, well, not that special, but it's they're hard to get. Uh, it's a 247 with a super hard shackle. It's a six pinner. Um, as opposed to the standard 245, which is just a hardened shackle with five pins. Unless you have the commercial body one, which is six pins. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the next one on to be done. I'll um, do a video on it, I suppose. Um, I'm not going to do the top. I've already put the um, uh, new metal pin in there. And so I'm not going to take it out again. I'll leave that top as it is. It's part of the history in Providence, I think. Let's see, um, probably a mark from the chain link over its journey. So, a bit of a history of it. Well, uh, it's just fl it's flushy out the bottom. And uh, obviously that side and the back. But, um, yeah, I've only got two of these 247s. I'll probably do, I'll give one to someone um, as a uh, overseas to, for his collection. And I'll give him this one too. He doesn't know who he is, but he'll know. Um, so the other 247, I'll do that up. And I'll, that'll be a one-off uh, little giveaway thing. Get rid of it. Until I'm running out of stuff, which is no skin off my nose. Either. I'm not a collector. Uh, uh, at all. So nothing, yeah, no locks interest me at all, to be fair. You know. It's the last thing you want to play with. But uh, this is going with the 247 when I do it too. I'm, gonna leave, I'm not going to touch this one. I'll leave the patina on it. Leave it as it is. It's a brass shackle. It's the fat body. 234 uh, with the original key. Uh, works fine. Actually beautiful. So I'm not sure what vintage that would be. Uh, probably 70s I would say. Um, anyway, could be wrong. Yeah, I'll leave that as it is, so that goes with the 247. I've got another one of these um, fat body ones, but um, it's sort of half and half, it's half sort of re, half clean and half patina, so you can't have both. I can't put the patina back, so what I'm going to do with this one, um, I'll uh, refurb it, get it nice and shiny, if you will. I uh, don't think there's a key for this one anyway, so that's got the brass shackle, so. I'll probably give me an excuse to get that and all nice and shined it up as well. So again, it's a fat body one. Uh, it's the same same sort of pattern number, I think. One, two, nine. One, two, nine. Six, double, nine, yeah, so. Anyway, that's another project. Yeah, got a couple of these ones, old 245 standard, uh, but with the brass shackle. Again, I would have noticed with this one. This is not me, by the way. Um, oh, hang on, no, that's fine. That wasn't, yeah, that, that wasn't the thing. I've found one. This one. Uh, yeah, I can't, I'm not going to go on the face anymore because I was, I it's going to run out of bloody stamping, so I'll leave that as it is, part of the character. Uh, yeah, some, I didn't do this, by the way. Just come, come with a padlock. Someone's had a go with a hacksaw, you see. But it's a funny looking shackle. I have no idea what that was about. Um, very weird. But uh, whoever took the shackle out has blown the hole out. I mean, blown it out completely. And they must have put a special plug, homemade plug in there. Um, cause that's huge. That's even bigger than this your standard uh, chamber plug. So that's got to come off. I'm not, I can't keep up that. It was terrible, but um, anyway, that's another project down the road. Added to the list of things that were, might have been to it. Um, yeah, I found an old, another old 245. Uh, I think that's the key, or it's not working properly. But that'd be another three fib. I might put this one in. Uh, well, it's going to go with the, the uh, packs that going over the pond. So this is a 245. It's the early extrusion, so. It'll be 80s, maybe. 
late seventies. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I don't know. The shack was pretty, pretty crusty. Uh, I've taken the plug out, so it'll come up alright. But it's gonna have things I can't get rid of. So, but it is what it is. You know, you can only do what you can do, or what you have. So, uh, yeah. Oh, that 247 too, I've already plugged it up, but I've um, found a sort of key which come from that period, the 90s, because I know that for a fact, because that came out of a um, locksmith form, unassembled, genuine Lockwood 234 from the 90s, and it was a commercial six-pinner, so I've actually cut that, gone a bit, pushing the envelope with the max here, but it's fine, so that's the key, that's the stuff Murdoch enjoys. <laughs> That'd be a bloody hard pick, that will. And that's all done. Ain't going to be easy. Um, oh, yeah, Butcher's Block or Dexter 2.0. 2.0. <laughs> He's asking if um, the uh, chamber plugs are available. Yeah, not genuine one. You can't, you won't get Lockwood genuine from the 90s, mate. Uh, again, someone might have them in their shed and I'll retired, retired Lockie or something, but you ain't going to get them, mate. But you can get the uh, Cologne copy from LAB, which is pretty close to the original. It's got the long taper. Um, and that's the LAB. That's the, that's the number, mate. They come in a while. 200, I believe. 200? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so they're, they are obtainable. Um, yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the part number, mate. For the... Uh, Chamber plugs. Um, that's about it, I think. Yeah, that was there. Oh, yeah, I was just... See the old Bentley's come out. I'll give the Bentley a bit of a cut and polish. Took her out of the garage. I did a video the other day, just mucking around. I grabbed the sitting 232s. Um, straight out the pack. Um, there's six of them there. This one's covered in bloody graphite. I don't know why. Uh, another odd thing. I've already done the video, so it doesn't matter. But I didn't say it on that video, but... Four of these are not stamped with Lockwood. Two of them have got the um, Lockwood stamp logo, but four haven't got it. But they've got the genuine Lockwood keys. I don't know if they were a miss or a batch that missed the stamping process, or they were a BDS. They're not that one. Yeah, there's because I know I think Ilko. Could have been Ilco BDS. I think they made the T32, the 2032 unassembled form back in the 90s. So these may be, be clones, I don't know. But strange thing, they've got Lockwood Genuine Keys that operate it. So unless they've come, got through the factory process without being stamped, I don't know. Anyway, there were six here. And were, I haven't didn't touch them, I took them out of the pack. They got the Bentley out, so and I thought, I wonder how much... See how, how would the Bentley go in a gang fight with six uh, angry 232s? I won't tell you the result, but uh, let me know how she, um, how the Bentley performed, like Rocky, <laughs> and uh, how many she got through. Let me know. It just, yeah, there's no prizes. Just, uh, it's, it's just a question. But uh, yeah. No, she's a, yeah, definitely a slayer. Anyway, what's that? Eight minutes. It's supposed to be a bloody five minute video, but here we go again. Another ten minutes. Anyway, that's the dark little update. And, uh, yeah, what's going on? Uh, Till next time, take care, and, uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, goodbye.